We have the connector, MOSFET, inductor, MOSFETs, chemical capacitors. We have here MOSFETs, as you can see, inductor, another capacitor, MOSFET, and current sense resistor, as you can see. This is the Wi-Fi or wireless card connector, the BIOS chip, and this is the MOSFET. You see the difference between the BIOS and the MOSFET? Always the BIOS chip is bigger than the MOSFET. Here we have a fuse, okay? This is a fuse. As you can see, we have F1. And here we have two ceramic capacitors, C, C, as you can see. Here we have four MOSFETs and two inductors. This is a diode, a protection diode. We have D21. And here we have two switches. Here we have two MOSFETs, Q1 and Q2. This is the control IC, the processor or the CPU control IC. And here we have four 10 tenon capacitors for filtering purposes. Here we have another crystal oscillator. We have X1 near to the ICH or input output control hub. So the value of this crystal oscillator, X1, as you can see here, equal to 32. 0.768 kilohertz. Here we have another crystal oscillator X3 near to the super IO or super input output. The IC that is responsible for the whole power in the motherboard U22. And this is the BIOS as you can see. Always you will find the BIOS usually near to the super IO. So this mark, white mark, means this is the pin number one. This is basically the CMOS battery or real-time clock. As you can see here in the motherboard, RTC1 means real-time clock. And this is the battery connector. We have BAT1. And here we have the protection diode D42. This is basically current sense resistor. We have another current sense resistor. As you can see, R305. This is connector 1394. Here we have zero means the value of this inductor or network resistor is zero. As you can see, here basically this is an IC. Here we have another IC, as you can see, maxim. And its reference, as you can see, is 8744. Here we have another maxim, okay? Basically, this IC is our controller. Here we have two MOSFETs, okay? Two MOSFETs, okay? And here we have inductors. This is another inductor. Here we have electrolytic capacitor. We have another electrolytic capacitor. This is tantalum capacitor. We have another tantalum capacitor, as you can see. And those are ceramic capacitors. And this triangle, or this white dot, as you can see, means the place of the pin number one. But for the MOSFETs, as you can see, here we have this white line, or this dot means this is the pin number one. Okay? So three pins for source, and four pins for drain, and this pin is for the gate. Here also, as you can see, we have a white line. Here we have the dot, means here we have the pin number one, two, three, four, and so on. So for the MOSFET, always the pin number one is the source. Three pins for source, four pins for drain, and the other pin for the gate. And those are resistors, as you can see. This is basically resistors. Okay, as you can see, we have R, its reference in the motherboard. We have four. R and we have four resistors over here. This is basically inductors or coils. Its reference is L in the motherboard, as you can see, L22, L23, as you can see. This black part is negative and here we have positive. So the electrolytic capacitor is polarized capacitor. Here we have transistors. This is the Zener diode, as you can see. Here we have the cathode, 
and here we have the anode or positive terminal. We have D37 for diode. This is crystal. As you can see, we have X5. Its reference can be X or Y. So here we have ceramic capacitors. So over here we have network resistors or resistors network. A resistors network is a combination of many resistors. As you can see here, its reference is RN, means resistor network. Here we have another network resistor, but for this equal to 1 to 10,000 ohm or 10K. Okay, because three will be three zeros. And here we have three inductors, three coil or inductors, as you can see, L8, L7, L6. So here, this is a crystal. Here we have X4, the reference for crystal. Its value is 25,000 kilohertz or 25 megahertz. Here we have the TMAG IC. This IC is the controller for the RG45 connector. If you have any issue with your Ethernet connector, you should check this IC. Inductor. This is capacitor, inductor, capacitor, a polarized capacitor. Here, as you can see, we have two channels, two inductors. This is two channels for the processor. This is the power channel for the processor to give the VCC core for the processor. This is MOSFETs, ceramic capacitors. This is oscillator IC that gives the clock or the frequency to the whole motherboard. This is the crystal, as you can see, Y2. Always crystal has a Y2 reference or X. This is MOSFETs, as you can see, 8 pin MOSFETs. Those are ICs, okay? ICs, okay? Here, this is inductors. Over here we have an other ICs as you can see with six pins and five pins. This is the CMOS battery as you can see the CMOS battery with 2.4 volt. This is the super IO. This is the BIOS basic input output system. Here we have as you can see inductors as you can see capacitors chemical capacitors. Those are ICs power management ICs. So the charge IC and the 3 volt, 5 volt IC. This is the power jack. Here we have the protection component. This is a current sense resistor. Over here we have the oscillator, as you can see, for the frequency. This is the crystal, as you can see. For the crystal, you can find its reference X or Y. So for this crystal, we have X, as you can see, X2. So this IC is the audio controller IC. This is regulators. We have here other type of MOSFET. Those also are MOSFETs in this shape. Here we have the power battery or the connector, the battery connector. This is the current sense resistor. This is the coil. This is inductor, not capacitor. And those are MOSFETs and ceramic capacitors. So here this is the diodes, as you can see. This is diodes.